Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games, I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. And if you like what you see here, you want to learn more about me, Oh, it feels good. I also have a Twitter. <laughs> I have an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I also have a Twitch. It's the same username all throughout, David A. Qua. This is going to be one of my favorite video game haul videos of all time, man. Oh my gosh, I had a great deal on what you see in front of you right here. Some of these things, I'm, I, it's been a while since I've made a video game haul video, and unless you watch only the video game hauls. I'm gonna like round up everything here. So these are things you already know I have. But I'm gonna talk about it just because it is a haul of things I bought recently, right? Uh, World War II just came out last week. Um, but look at this, man. Movie Exchange. There's the address if you wanna know here in Houston, Texas. Recently had a 40% off sale, right? So guess how much I bought for this? The Xbox One S. One terabyte, by, uh, mind you. Original price, like $279. What I buy it for? Xbox One S. $167. Uh, less than $170, man. What the, what the, oh my gosh. What an amazing deal. Can you get the one terabyte Xbox One S for $170? Mm-mm. Not to, not to, that's not very common. That's a great deal. I couldn't pass it up, man. Box, it, it is pre-owned, by the way. But, man, I have to get the system now. I officially have the Xbox One. Um, I also have the a couple games here, some, some exclusive titles. They're kind of cheap right about now. And, uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about some of the previous stuff that I have right here, okay? I did buy... I'll, this would have been its own video, but I don't know when I'm going to make another WWE video because I haven't really been uh, buying a lot of stuff, you know? But I did get 30 years of Survivor Series. It's been 30 years already? Jeez Louise. Um, so here we got uh, you know, John Cena and Triple H and The Rock. And we got uh, Undertaker and Shawn Michaels right there. 30 years of, of Survivor Series. A bunch of uh, best moments. We got this sticker here. Is it a sticker? I think it, it is a sticker. Uh, Brock Lesnar. The Beast Incarnate. Three disc set. Looking forward to watching some of these. There's a lot of stuff I haven't never seen before, by the way. This is pretty awesome. Look, look, oh my gosh, look at all that content. Amazing. Okay. Uh, by the way, here in Houston, Survivor Series is happening here in Houston this year, uh, 2017. I'm not going, by the way. The tickets are like, if you really want to see something, yeah, it's like hundreds of dollars, you know, and I, 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 I haven't made a lot of friends here in Houston to be able to, that are into WWE also, so I, maybe in the future or something like that. I, I know they stopped by Houston a lot for uh, SmackDown and Raw and all that stuff, you know, but uh, I'm not going to Survivor Series. Like, the cheapest tickets is like $75, right? The ones I've seen anyway. When I first started researching it, they were like $30 tickets, but it's like way back in, in the back you know like i can't even see you probably have to bring binoculars with me you know how am i supposed to enjoy something like that you know so uh maybe in something in the future i will go to a wwe event you know but uh for right now i'm just gonna watch this okay awesome look stone cold steve austin big show oh my gosh i, I can't wait to watch this um another movie this is video game related because it's based on the video game series resident evil vendetta I do have all the other ones. Let's see over here. Um, here. So you got Resident Evil Degeneration and Damnation. I got those on DVD also. Whoops. Okay. But other things I bought recently. Super Mario Maker for the 3DS. Okay, I've been playing this like every single night. <laughs> I've been making my own levels and trying to beat it and stuff like that. South Park The Fractured But Whole. I made an unboxing video of this. I am a huge fan of South Park. I was waiting for this game. This, this game's been delayed so many times and it finally comes out. I'm, I'm so so happy to, to play it, you know. I already finished it. Uh, you also get the Stick of Truth for PS4 or, or, or whatever console you, you have to buy. Like if you buy Xbox One, you would 
you get the code too. But uh, I love this game. I actually really like it uh, more than uh, Stick of Truth, honestly. <laughs> like, I I'm more into superheroes, you know. I, I you, you know, I'm into Spider-Man. I'm into Marvel movies. I'm into DC and stuff like that, you know. Um, more than, like, the fantasy type stuff. You know, the Game of Thrones and the Lord of Rings and stuff like that. I I'm more into superheroes. So this, this game connected with me more, okay. I also got Call of Duty World War II. If you haven't seen my uh, Midnight Released... A video and unboxing you gotta check it out I it was so awesome man there was like a three hour long video game tournament there I only stayed for like the last part of it and um there was like prizes tons of fellow Call of Duty fans got together and we hung out and shared stories and you know we played the games that were available in GameStop like that you know how they have the uh, console set up and stuff like that it was amazing. I, I freaking, I, I'm so glad I went. A lot of people keep asking, David, why couldn't you just buy it online, uh, you know, on, on, the, on the PlayStation store or something like that, you know, buy it digitally. How can I have an experience like that? There was pizza, there was food, tons of fans got together, and we got, you know, it, it was amazing. So, just letting you know, if you haven't seen that video, it, it's a pretty fun video to watch, okay? So, yeah, about the 40% off sale. Yeah, that's right. One sixty seven ninety nine for the Xbox One S one terabyte version, and I got for eight ninety nine Halo Five Guardians, Rise Son of Rome for like five bucks, and Batman the Telltale series for five bucks. Pretty good deal, right? Uh, these are exclusives. You know, this is one one of the reasons. Like Halo Five especially. Like even if this game was like uh, sixty dollars or something like that, I would still buy. Like. One of the reasons why I want to play the Xbox, buy the Xbox One is because they play some of the exclusives. So like Gears of War 4, right? Halo 5 Guardians, like uh, Sunset Overdrive, Quantum Break, Rise Son of Rome. Like all those games I, I've been wanting to play all this time, I can finally play it now, okay? Unfortunately, the Xbox One doesn't like stream to YouTube. It can stream to Twitch though. I do have a Twitch. I, I live stream on there occasionally, but... Uh, my main live streaming place is uh, is YouTube, and unfortunately, it doesn't like go directly to YouTube. But here, Rise Son of Rome. Uh, a lot of people don't really like this game, but I want to experience for myself. Is it worth five dollars? Is that the, <laughs> like I'm sure this game is worth five dollars, right? So I shouldn't have any problem like enjoyment with it and stuff like that. Got three days of Xbox. I I'm sure this is used already. I bought the game used after all. But I hear the graphics are good in this game. It's a good, like, tech demo, you know? You got Halo 5 Guardians. This came out a little later. I, I, I can probably do an updated Halo collection now that I have this. There it is. Xbox One. Looking forward to playing this. Uh, I don't know. If any of you guys want to play with me, I guess we could. Right? Wait, how come this box is different than all the other ones? Oh well. And by the way, why is the disc on like this? If this is on this side. This one you open it's on this side. Weird. Hmm. Okay, finally, this is not an Xbox One exclusive, by the way. You can play this on PlayStation. But uh, I was like, I, I want three games to take with me. So I went ahead and got Batman and Telltale series, which I have not played yet. Right? It's from the same people who did The Walking Dead and all that stuff. I played the uh, Tales from Borderlands, like, I played Game of Thrones, you know, so why not? Batman and Telltale game also, right? Let's do an unboxing of this video, of, of this, uh, uh, be first of all, I love the packaging, right? It's, uh, there's my PS4, I think this looks prettier than the PS4 box, look, it's got the games in the back, you know? Got Master Chief, Lara Croft, Rise of the Tomb Raider, when it first came out, um, was a Xbox exclusive. I, I, I do have it for Xbox 360. And uh, here's a war, Marcus right there, right? Here's how I'm thinking. I'm trying to figure out where to put this thing. Because I already have a few consoles down here already, right? Um, I'm thinking, like, this shelf that currently has all my uh, stuff here, I'm going to move it. So this one, the, the PS3 and the Xbox 360 will be on this top shelf, right? And then this will be like the next generation. So PS4, which is currently on, and uh, the Xbox One will stay here. I actually like the fact that it's like, th th I'm going to have two white Xbox and two black, you know, the P Playstations, you know. Any of you guys interested in me playing this game? I hear it's good. Alright, let's do this. 
So, inside, we got this. There's the controller. Feels great, by the way. HDMI cable. Okay. Here, let's compare it real quick to the... Uh, Hmm. Oh, look. See, uh, I, this is my first time really playing with the Xbox One controller here. It's got a, like, a plus sign, you know? It's not the circle. Very interesting. Okay, that'll still work. Yeah, I like the fact that it still looks the same, so I, you know, the PS4 controller, for instance, compared to the PS3, it's like, it's so much different. You know, there's so many changes to it. It's got the little speaker. It's got the touchpad right here. It's, uh, it feels different, too. This one, I feel like it, it, it'll just uh, be a smooth transition, you know? Oh, no. I totally forgot about this. Oh, whoever... <laughs> yeah, I already has... It already has batteries. Nice. Okay, whoever owned this before me... <gasps> There's no console set up, so it's not going to detect anything. What's this? Oh, really? The power cable's this small? I thought it was kind of like uh, the Xbox 360 is a giant box. It's a big, big brick. Okay. Okay, that's nice. What else do we got here? <gasps> I bent it. Okay, what's this? I'm trying to do this all in one hand, man. Oh, okay, here we go. Got some codes. I don't know if they're used or not. I'm pretty sure they are. Design lab. Make your own controller. Instruction booklet from Microsoft. Of course, the Club Nintendo code. <laughs> And uh, Xbox One uh, Live. I'll probably use it. Assuming it even works. Alright. Okay. And finally. Wow. It looks very sleek. Like it feels good. Apparently, HDMI in, HDMI out. Where do you plug in the connect? I know you have to find. I know you have to buy an adapter. For a while, I think you're just gonna hear my voice when I live stream games from the Xbox One S. Okay, you won't see live. Uh, when I live stream, you won't see a camera. You won't see my face. How does this compare? to the PS4. It really does stand out. Uh, I can't do it. Okay, never mind. We'll do that another time. Okay, well, I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna move the PS3 and the Xbox 360 up here on this shelf, and then we'll leave the new generation consoles down here, okay? So that is the setup. Thank you for watching, everyone. Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.